Hello everybody! How's everyone doing? The outside bit of the church, as I usually do in my tradition, I'm filming last. Had a good lunch, had a drink, had a rum and coke, which was nice, spiced rum and coke. Antique shop. The uh, main thing is to see the outside of the church, which is the first part of the video. But bearing in mind that's being filmed at the end of the day, so I'll send up with us always. It's a beautiful little street, this one. And wait till you see this. Oh, I feel sick. I've eaten fish and chips. Part of one of these great big rum fudge truffle things and I mean great big things from this place here Ooh. and I had a rum and coke and my belly is now thinking no but there we are Rye Town Hall Got the Ukrainian flag up nicest bit, or one of the nicest bits actually, is here, look, can't really see it too well because of the sun, you get here, out of the way, that's better, Simon the Pieman, which is closed now, but we had a proper traditional English tea in here, my friends had scones and I saw the rum truffles and Anyone knows me knows I am absolutely addicted to them. And what you'll see later on in one of the videos, but I've already seen it, is me and done it. Is me up there on, on there and looking over to show you, try and show you the clock face. So that's that bit. You're all right. That's okay. You're fine. I was only filming up the top bit anyway. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> In this ancient vicarage, John Fletcher was born in 1579. Jacobean dramatist and collaborator with Beaumont, Shakespeare and Massinger. So, There we are, Fletcher's house. But look at the timber framing on that up there. You can see how ancient it is. Wow. I would have almost missed that. There we are. That was worth the seeing, wasn't it? And we've been in there already, or well, I have. <coughs> little walk around the outside of the church now. Oh, crumbs. I have to keep saying crumbs because I got told off for swearing in my videos and stuff, so yeah. Crumbs is just replaced every other swear word that I can think of. It's not that I mean to swear, it just it just falls out like diarrhea. The church is uh, largely Norman in its structure. A um, lot of repairs in the 1400s because the French sacked the town of Rye and destroyed large parts of it. Because in those days, the sea came right up to this town, which it doesn't, it's miles out now. But the sea came right up to the town and uh, yeah, French had a field day. We were always having a go at each other, us and the French. It's 208 feet, I thought it was 211, it's 208 foot up. It doesn't look that high from down here, I must admit, but there we are. 
And that, my little pretty chickadee chews, will be into the crypt, I should well imagine. Ah, this will feature inside. You'll see this inside. On the other side of this wall is a holy water stoop where people in medieval times and Catholicism would have come in, put the holy water on themselves and been reminded of their baptism. Here are flying buttresses, which most church people will know. But these square holes that you see in medieval buildings, they're known as putt log holes. And that was for the wooden scaffolding. They didn't have metal scaffolding with bolts and whatnot like what we've got. So you'd have a big log sticking out and the platforms would be put across like that. They're known as putt log holes. And they would have been uh, sawn off when the building was completed and covered over in a lime render. But obviously the wood rots away, leaving us with these putt log holes. Lovely, lovely buildings surrounding the churchyard. A little pan around. Such pretties. Here we are. This stone marks the probable site of the old cross used for mayoral elections between 1289 and 1602 each Sunday next after the feast of St Bartholomew 24th of August so Each parish had its big stone cross like you've got Paul's Cross in London and Charing Cross and whatnot and that and um, a lot of the they were gathering points for hearing official news and stuff like that but yeah the church is still open I don't know what time it closes but obviously a little bit later than it used to hello <laughs> ah, little sweet dog a little sweet face I'm a sucker for animals me I, I can never resist them <laughs> That's probably why I've ended up with so many pets in my life. Rye Castle, which we'll hopefully see tomorrow. It's closed today for some reason. I'll check the opening times once I've finished filming here because there's nice views and stuff around there, so I'll be going that way. And there's also a public convenience. So, uh, I need to visit Funderbox. see where that wall leans this way these stop that wall from collapsing um, the little I know about architecture is before these flying buttresses you'd have walls so thick that you couldn't really have decent stained glass windows and stuff like that then these came along and they allowed for lighter more airy churches Here lies the body of Thomas Westerby of Ye Parish. That rest's worn away. That's going to be 1600, so. And this is a water cistern where the town's water would have been stored and collected from. This is in the days before. Mains running water and that, so the water source was in here. And if it got infected, God help you, literally. And here we are, back at the front of the church again. Oh, nine minutes. Uh, I'll get you to the street here. I'll pause this. Then I'll walk around and show you the water system, the front of it, which I meant to do anyway, so.
Here we are. Just inside the church. I've already done that earlier, so you'll be seeing that soon. But I always film the outsides of churches last because it gives you more time to film the inside for closing time. But this one seems to stay open quite late, unless there's a church service on, maybe. And Fletcher's house there, and an old sundial up there. Alright, take care all, and see you all in the next part of the video, which is the water system. There we are, we're at the front of it now. Sorry about the glare from the sun. You can see the gauge there, look for the water level. And we are very, very low at the moment. <laughs> Far out of right. The Duke of Devonshire's papers. There from the trailer, Mayor. Jarrett's of Rye to Lord Wilmer, Wilmington, in whose hands the Adarson of Rye then was asking permission to place a water system for public use in the corner of the churchyard. Letter of thanks, this is all 1733 to 1736, but I'll let you read it anyways. Here, have your old pump. We've seen these in London, haven't we, before? This is where the water would have, of course, pumped out of. And the pipe for that is around here. But yeah, that's obviously bolted shut, so you can't use that because it's very old. Right, you can see the old detailing on that. Oops. That's the pipe. Interesting, isn't it? Lovely old house, and I'm going to end you on this nice view. Show you this first. I'll get you to. Cause I don't like uneven numbers. Uneven numbers are breaking my bars, y'all. That'd be interesting to see inside. Incredibly dangerous, though, because if you fell in, you wouldn't get out. And I've been told that. So, yeah, people know what I'm like. I was warned about that one a few years ago by Marge. Apparently, years ago, a kid did fall in there and didn't get out. Hope you all enjoyed this, everyone. If you did, please give it a like and a share. Norman arches, it's the Norman in this part of the church. But this is the most spectacular thing about the church is the stained glass. It's nice and wide here for me, so I won't knock anything over. I like medieval stoop. The site of the North Door. In medieval times, this was the site of the North Door, no longer visible from the inside. It can still be clearly seen on the outside wall. Holy water was kept here, so that when people entered the church, they would be reminded of 
their baptism. And that's what they've got in Barking Church as well, one of those. This is like their mini museum, this bit. century church key 18th century sheep bell found in the churchyard for many years cheap sheep grazed the churchyard to keep the grass tidy I've said that before about barking haven't I lantern pinions they are and this is one of the clock hands original minute hand from the church clock damaged during Great Storms of 1987 and 1990, replaced in 1991. Original medieval tiles, medieval nails. And they're 12th century, those tiles, that's from the 1100s. The Geneva Bible, 1557. Seal. This is on the second fly. That's the seal of the town of Rye. Sorry about the flickering, everyone. A replica of the sanctuary knocker. Originally on the north door, a felon who banged it could remain unharmed for 40 days, during which time. He could send for the local coroner, confess his felonies and adjure the realm, swearing to leave England by a stated port. E.g. in the records is the confession of John Purchase, late of Marriott, County Somerset, who took sanctuary in Rye Church. The original locker is in Rye Castle Museum. And that's... we saw the castle, didn't we? This is a model of the church from 1870. Sorry, model of the church. Made by Mr. G. Sherwood in 1875. That's beautiful, isn't it? That yeah, it's really lovely. How are you walking on people's graves? The font. The font is where adults and children are baptised into the new life of Christ. This is a 19th century copy of the font in Newenden Church. Well, you would think that's medieval because they've done a very good job. And here's the Lord's Prayer. And the sacred prayer. I believe in God the Father, Almighty Maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ. His only son, and it goes on from there. There's a very old cupboard over there. I won't feel too much, film too much there because there's people there. Switch hands because I'll make. Thomas Kennett. That's just a few of them. Obviously, can't go around looking at all. This is the children's area, but there's no one here at the moment, so 
I will show you stained glass. West End of South Isle. Jesus gives sight to the blind man. What's that say? This is the oldest window in the church and dates from 1882. Because don't forget, during the Reformation, all the coloured stained glass was taken out. All colour was removed from churches. And this being a big, imposing and wealthy, well-known church, would have had its colours taken out. The Ten Commandments. This window is Sapphire. Mary shows Jesus to Simeon and Anna in the right side of the panel. Philip brings Nathaniel to Jesus. The two panels in the window date from 1894. And the funny thing is, this picture here, my mate Simon, when these boys were qu quite young, absolutely terrified them, this picture did. But they're not so bad with it now, but it still creeps them out a bit, they're not keen on it. St. Peter on the left and St. Andrew on the right. The fishermen are called by Jesus to be fishers of men. This window was dedicated in 1889. I can hear water dripping. That must be dripping on something outside. I hope. There's no, no wet in here anyway. other part of the church where we see the organ. I am um, the Rye Millennium Embroidery. Stand for the Millennium. Intercessions that you write on there for prayers for people. Here's the organ, which I'll show you the front of in a minute, but look at this. St. Veronica's handkerchief. According to legend, Veronica was a woman in Jerusalem who filled with compassion at the sight of Jesus carrying his cross on the way to the crucifixion, stepped forward and wiped his face with a cloth, often describes the handkerchief, and the impression of his face remained indelibly imprinted on it. The place where it is said to have happened forms the sixth station of the cross on the Via Dolorosa in Jerusalem. It must be noted, however, that there is no biblical basis for the legend. Nor does the name Veronica appear in any early lists of saints. This painting by Gab Mar, a 19th century Czech artist, gives his interpretation of what the cloth looked like. 
copies are available from the church shop at one pound eighty. the high altar in a minute, the organ, the organ by Norman and Baird was installed in 1901, it was originally in the south transverse transept but was moved to its present position in 1911. show you the lovely floor tiles I ever did I really in this Victorian the choir stores no entry that's like the utility area that you see in Barking Church that's their one here oh, it's, it does charm the hours it doesn't charm the minutes well, when I'm here tomorrow, I'll go back up there and try and time it for the hour so we can get it, see it working. 900th anniversary banner. This banner was made by Rye Branch of Embroiderers Guild in 2003 to celebrate 900 years of worship in this church. Beautiful. as of course is the stained glass window. East window, the life of Jesus. Start the top left panel and follow through to the bottom right. The window dates from 1952 and replaced one lost by bomb blast during World War II. And this is the Chapel of St. Clair. There's no one in it at the moment, so I'll quickly do a filming because it's a private chapel. East window, Clare Chapel, Christ in glory, worshipped by the angels. This window dates from 1912 and is in memory of Cumberbatch, E. H. Liddell. I'll make a nice screenshot. See the old skull and crossbones with the angel above. 
Mark the body of Elizabeth Martin. And that would be from the 1600s, that one. Lest do we forget. Which we don't. Nearly. And you knock that over. Beautiful church. And the rain has stopped now. And that, ladies and gentlemen, concludes our tour of St Mary's Church in Rye. Hope you all enjoyed. If you did, please give it a like and a share. Thank you. And that's where we were up there to get into the bell tower. But I'll end you on something nice. Guys and girls, we are going up onto the roof. It's 84 steps to the roof. But you're going to see a pretty amazing clock mechanism as well. We have had our lunch, fish and chips, which we've let go down before climbing up this one. The lads did this first, while I did the church, and then me do this, because they don't really want to appear on film. And that there is the pendulum for the clock. This seems incredibly narrow. Let me get out of the way because someone's coming down. I'm sorry. Oh, hey. <laughs> <laughs> the one wire. <laughs> yes, if you want to, then let the chat. Can you get through there, yeah? You alright? Oh, all right. So, thanks very much. No, Thank you. Yeah, just one coming up, Amy. Thank you. Right, it's going for it. Incredibly narrow. Up we go. It's very narrow, and it's a one way system, you see it all. <clears throat> thanks very much. Oh, Thank you. Thank you. And this is my favourite bit, which is the clock mechanism. There's weights and pendulums and everything. You can throw about the bells, and that's the ropes of the bell ringers there all tied up so the public can't get to them you like that ticking And that's the pendulum to end all pendulums. The pendulum itself weighs a quarter of a ton. That much I do know from my last visit. We've carried out vital maintenance to the clock. See our appeal board. Donations to our clock fund are greatly appreciated. 
Well, I'll donate to that one then, because the lads are going to put something in the church downstairs. And me loving clocks, and I think you may all enjoy this bit as much as I do. Well, I hope you will. Ooh. Filming and doing this, these stairs at the same time is a bit tricky, so do excuse the ooh, and ooh, noises, won't you? Here we go. Oh, it's nice and cool up here. And now we're going to see the bells. There we are. Oh, that's interesting, isn't it? that that's better that's outside through there that's where the nice breeze is coming from Film the bell tower first, but I will put church on first as part one and bell tower on as part two. But even the roof structure in here is absolutely amazing, considering it's all medieval as well. And this is still its medieval bell frame. A lot of renovations done in the Victorian times and as you see, recent times, but. holes in the wall um, in the old days with the scaffolding we feel like we haven't got a bit of modern scaffolding right, you come first. You'd have wooden, <laughs> wooden props sticking out and that's a putt log and that's what the scaffolding will be built from or off of sorry <clears throat> look at that that's amazing isn't it I know I've got one or two of my page members who are housebound who like their churches so you'll enjoy this one. Ooh. Wow. That's a honest pulley system and it is raining. That's okay. Oh. Oh, right? Yeah, I'm fine. That's okay. I'm clumsy as hell, me. Yeah, I didn't notice that. That's me. I'm I'm clumsy as, as anything, me. Yeah. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. All right. And I'm sorry about the rain, guys and girls, but the view, as you'll see, is pretty spectacular. And we are up 211 feet, I believe it is. That's the tune down there. Oh, look, someone's watching us. <laughs> look. Look, that woman waved. Huh? Sorry about the raindrops, guys and girls. castle there look and when you go down into the castle garden this is the views you get from here all of 
Rye Harbour and out to the sea. And over that way is where we are staying. Andy, really, it's raining because in, in some ways it does me a favour because it, it clears people out of the way so I can film. I don't mind a spot of rain. Oh, look, people have put their initials on the on the lead and the slates. I won't do that, but I don't. I would like to put London Luke on one of the slates, but no. No. <clears throat> I get told off anyway because there's cameras on each of these things, That's, as you can see. And the ladies downstairs sit and watch the cameras like hawks because. Uh, I won't go into details, but for unfortunate reasons, shall we say, we're very high up. But I won't go into much more detail than that. Because we are trying to keep the holiday upbeat. And loads of people have put their names and in, initials on there, though. I'll chat to one of the ladies first and see what they say. flagpole which is empty at the moment new one to be put on for Her Majesty's Jubilee the Camber Sands is over there where all those wind turbines are and that is where we are staying there Christ you can even see the Mary Stanford lifeboat, lifeboat house from here where it was yesterday just there that's mad See for miles. And the castle is shut, so I will check the opening times. But that can suit to tomorrow. I might they might be having work done or whatnot. But there's plenty of stuff to see, even if we see around the outside of the castle. I do hope that it is open and I get to show you it though, because <clears throat> it's a really lovely part of Rye and worth seeing. Right, Augustus. It's Augustus the seagull. I hope the weather ain't like this when we're camping. <laughs> Else we should be liable to get rather wet. I just want to oh, cross this, that's better. It's the train station, yeah. I'm trying to see the town gate from here. So, I think you can see it from this point. Oh, well, we'll see that anyway. Right, guys and girls, I'll give you another quick once round of this bit, and then I am back in because I'm going to get rather wet. And the lads want to come up and do this one before the weather sets really bad as well. So it's a nice experience, and it only costs four pound, and all the cost, the uh, like the money goes to the upkeep of the church. So that's real fun and pretty. It's a long way doing. And here, this here, is the clock face. <clears throat> the back of it. When we get down into the street, I'll show you that. <clears throat> Try to get my poor, poor phone dry. Up here. That's a 
leave my umbrella downstairs because the narrowness would, <laughs> would definitely have got wedged. It was, it was enough getting my way through there and, uh, and that, so. system that is yeah. All right. and somewhat precarious to get through as well especially if you're not thin which I'm not but here we are such is life All right and we've all seen the up and down journey haven't we so well, the up journey so I'll get you to 15 minutes on this one and then we shall call it a day for the bell tower I'll film the clock face and I'll get Rob to merge it onto the front the beginning bit of this The, uh, what it looks like from the outside. Right. Okay, everyone, hope you all enjoyed that. If you did, please give it a like and a share.